Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can recolor a sequence. Now, there might be several reasons that you want to do this. You may have found a sequence on a vendor's site that you really love the effects, but you'd, you, know, you want a different color scheme to match your layout. Or you may just want to get more use out of a sequence. You know, by changing the colors, you can you know, change the look and feel, and it almost refreshes that sequence. Uh, but whatever reason you choose, I'm going to show you how we can achieve that quickly and easily. So you could go through all of these effects and change all of the colors individually. That would work, but it would be many, many hours of work. You could do a bulk edit, but the problem with that is it would destroy all the context of the sequence because some effects will have two colors on them in this case, or some will have four colors. And if you was just to do a change of colors here and update, you would destroy all that context. So for this example, we're going to be using the hue slider. So for anybody who doesn't know what this slider does, I'm just going to quickly jump to Photoshop, respect to zero. And you can see I've got some colors here. So I've got uh, a purple and orange here, and then I've just got a red, green, blue. And when you slide, the hue slider both in Photoshop or any tool or in X lights it actually rotates all of the colors in the composition around the color wheel now the nice thing about this is because it moves them all equally you still maintain context of the colors and generally if you've got two colors that work together you know say you think these two colors work together when you slide them down the color wheel it will generate colors that tend to work well together as well, although be it completely different colors. And let's have a look at that. So I'm going to slide the color wheel and you'll see all of the colors start to change. OK, so you end up with entirely different colors and we can go around the color wheel in the other direction. And there you go. So let's jump back to X lights and see how we can use that. So the first thing we want to do is, you know, you imagine this is a mainly purple color scheme. There is a different color scheme at the beginning, but that will also be shifted. But the colors will be shifted slightly differently. But uh, it's not a problem because you could do it in sections if you wish. But I'm going to do a full global change here. So just choose a prop, which is roughly the same colors as the main composition. So you can see here the colors are purple and blue. And I'm going to just work on this prop now just to find a color scheme that I like. So I'm just going to scroll along and you'll see in a moment the prop. Only the prop will update because I'm only changing an individual prop. I'll go a little bit further. Let's I think I'll go back. I think I quite like that one. 42 there. So you can see now I've moved the colors in this case from that purple and blue to like a red and yellow and let's assume we're going to do that so the first thing we must do is suspend render because if we start changing all of these effects it's going to be re-rendering lots of things and that could cause a crash the next thing we must do is right click on here and say show all effects and this will expand all of the effects then we press Control a on the keyboard and you'll see that everything has been highlighted in purple now now we can go to our hue right click select bulk edit and then choose the hue setting mine's already set to 42 so i'll click ok and now it's going to change the hue setting for all of the effects so at this stage i'm now going to do a full render all and this is going to take a few minutes and you see it going along now just one caveat to this if you have video in your sequence that are not effect videos but are things like, you know a video of a person speaking or something like that you may want to go in afterwards and reset the hue back to zero for those videos because you don't really want to skew the colors of you know something like that it's you know you only really want to be impacting the effects in this sequence that's not the case so I'm fine just doing this. So it's going to take a, a few minutes to do, but the, effectively the job is done now. 
Okay, so there we go. You can see now we've gone from that purple and blue type color scheme to effectively a red, green and yellow color scheme. And you can see it still looks a fantastic sequence. Yeah, produced by Showstoppers. Still a fantastic sequence, but a completely different look and feel. So there you go. So I hope this has been useful. Now here are four color schemes that I quickly did so that you can see what you can achieve. So the top left is the original color scheme that the vendor shipped. And then the other three are ones that I've just done by using this technique. So until next time, see you later.